Being a minimalist requires a shift in lifestyle, perspective, and what you spend your money on. The idea is to live life more intentionally and realize that happiness does not come from your possessions. Once you get the hang of it, you will never be tempted to spend money on things that add no value to you again. Number 10. Unused Subscriptions It seems like everyone these days wants you to sign up and subscribe to something. Whether it is the gym, your streaming platforms, or a newsletter from your favorite YouTuber, these subscriptions are intended to steadily take money out of your pocket. They would be totally fine if you used them, but when was the last time you were consistent with your gym time? Research shows that most people quit the gym after three months but forget to cancel their subscription. And you don't need to subscribe to all the streaming platforms you come across when you don't have time to follow even one show. Unfortunately, because it's $10 here and there, you might forget about it, but that amount will snowball in the long run. Subscriptions and memberships are great only when they add something to your life. Be more intentional with your time and money. Review your subscriptions and cut out what you don't need. If something means a lot to you, you'll find ways without breaking the bank to do it. Like you can take a run within your neighborhood for fitness and pick a new hobby for entertainment. Number 9. Things with a digital option Most people can agree that the internet is one of the greatest inventions. It is great for connections with social media, it is useful for work options, and for the minimalist, it is a tool to help you save on clutter. Most gadgets have plenty of storage for your music, pictures, books, spending trackers, calendar entries, and so much more. This eliminates the need to go out and get these items in hard copy. As you buy your 20 hard copy books, it is easy to imagine that you will reread them over the years, but if you are being honest with yourself, you hardly got through with that first read. Rather than take up space in your house and trip yourself with guilt whenever space in your house and trip you would use, but are not using, go digital. Apps like Spotify and Apple Music have enough music and podcasts to keep you entertained for years. Your Google Photos are a great way to keep your visual memories. You don't need files and files to keep track of your finances either. The best part about digital options is that you don't have to worry about losing them, especially when they are synced to your account and backed up. Your information will be safe from weather changes, fires, and burglars, though you must be aware of hackers. Number 8. The Latest Trends we like to believe that what's trendy is what's cool. This mindset causes us to spend money trying to get the latest everything to appear cool in our circles. Minimalists, however, have learned that being cool is more than how you dress and what you own. It's more about your character as a person. Are you kind and generous? Do you enjoy making things with your hands or are you more intellectual? All these facets that help you stand out from the crowd are what make you cool. There is, therefore, no need to buy the latest fashion releases if the clothes you have will do the job. You don't need to upgrade your gadgets with every big release if they are working just fine. You need to learn to value function over form. If your secondhand car will get you to work, then you don't need to whine and pine for the sports car you can't afford. Besides, trends are always changing. What's in today could be out before the weekends. But you don't have the liberty to change your income at the drop of a hat. So go with what you are comfortable with and pay more attention to who you are as a person, not what you have. Number 7. Sin Costs These refer to your guilty pleasures like alcohol, smoking, drugs, and junk food. It could be more than these, but these are mostly activities or indulgences that are bad for your health, especially when taken in extremes. It is easy to give in when you are surrounded by people who indulge in the same, so you need to stick to your convictions. You might end up dealing with a long-term health issue that will cost you more money in health care. Being a minimalist requires intentional living, which means looking out for your health. Most people report clarity and a happier self after choosing to go healthy. There are more benefits to be gained from dropping sin costs than keeping them. It is a great move for your mental and physical health as well as your bank account. Number 6. Unnecessary Skin and Beauty Products There's a new skin or beauty product hitting the shelves every other week and they all promise that they are the best in the field. But you don't have to use your body as a guinea pig for all the products out there. You don't need to fill a whole dresser with makeup products. You only have two eyes and can only use so much mascara. 70 lipstick tubes are also unrealistic, especially when you keep going for the one you like best. You don't need a thousand products to look your best. Minimalists have learned to appreciate their natural beauty and know how to use their diet to help with their skin issues. Anti-aging creams and acne removal creams are something they hardly buy. 
Instead, they laugh and smile more often to keep their youthful glow and take note of the foods that cause them to break out. Buy the products you like best and work for you. Donate the rest and only refill your stock when the ones you have are done. While this is good for your bank account, your skin will love you for it. You don't need to bury it in layers and layers of products. Let your pores breathe and own your natural beauty. Number 5. Single-Use Appliances Buying single-use appliances means you end up filling your house with so many items that are mostly useless when not in season. Do you really need pizza scissors when you've got your hands? And what use is the avocado slicer when you've already got plenty of knives that can do the job? As a minimalist, you need to count the cost and not be swayed by all the wonderful adverts that argue for these items. This is why most of them buy reusable water bottles so that they don't have to buy bottled water whenever they are out. When it comes to kitchen appliances, think of how practical they are. You don't need to fill your counter with items you will only use once a month, like a shredding claw and an eight-piece pie cutter. A fork and knife can do the exact job you bought them for. Single use also applies to other things you use around the house, like paper towels, disposable utensils, and decorations. Get things that you can use over time without having to replace them every so often. That means going for cloth towels and more durable utensils. If you enjoy setting up for parties, get items you can reuse every other year. Therefore, you should get something neutral, like a party sign that is not specific for a birthday or anniversary and other like items. Number 4. Home Decor Sometimes, you don't need an interior designer to bring your space to life. You know what you like best and what you want your space to look like. However, we need to decorate in moderation too. It's easy to browse the aisles and think you need all the candles and vases you've seen on display. Minimalists decorate with intention, so before you buy the items, ask yourself some important questions. Do you actually like candles and vases? Or is it what you've seen everyone else do and want to get? Do you really need a rug for every nook in your house, which will be hard to clean and terrible to look at when they start to run? Your decorative pieces should also serve a purpose, or they will end up collecting dust and taking up space you would have used differently. If you have watched any minimalist, then you know that your house can look great with a few pieces. Three framed pictures are enough to tell your guests about your family life. One book on your coffee table that you actually read gives the room enough personality. Number three, cheap clothes. It's important to invest in quality over quantity. This applies to everything, but especially your clothes. You've probably heard the statement, clothes make the person. As much as we try to dance around it, people judge you based on your appearance. Once you become a minimalist, you'll have to balance society's expectations with your bank account. You might say you don't really care about public opinion, but you know that you can't stop thinking about their negative comments. So hit both birds with one stone by buying quality clothes. If you buy great quality shoes, they may cost a little more, but you won't have to buy those shoes every quarter. The same goes for clothes. Get clothes that will last for years. This also means they won't fade or stretch out as time passes. With quality clothes, you won't need to fill up your closet. A few quality pieces are enough to make a statement wherever you go. Number two, takeout or delivery. Food is important to everyone, even minimalists. Research shows that the biggest spending portion is usually food related. We all need to eat and most times we need money to achieve that. But minimalists are wise about their eating habits to ensure they save plenty of money. Therefore, they cut out buying takeout or delivery and eating out. You could end up spending about $3,000 a year on just eating out, so minimalists take things into their own hands, literally. They cut the vegetables and sprinkle the salt and make their favorite dishes at home. This is easier with meal prepping. You minimize food waste, save on eating out, and spend less when grocery shopping. To take it a notch higher, you could have your own home garden so that you never buy some vegetables ever again. This also works for coffee. You probably spend about $100 on coffee every week if you are a coffee lover. Learn to make coffee at home and save all that money. Before we get into number one, make sure to check out the links in the description for our best recommendations to boost your savings. Number one, items outside your budget. One of the biggest money traps people fall into is buying outside their budget. A minimalist is always looking for ways to save money and reduce costs. That means they will most likely have a budget for how to spend all the money. As a minimalist, someone who has learned the value of every dollar, you will not be tempted to give in to new furniture or appliances just because they look pretty on display. The same is true for entertainment options, travel, cars, and accommodation. If it's not in the budget, then you can do without it. 
you don't really need another coffee table and that car you are thinking of will choke your savings with maintenance. However, if you feel like you really need it, then you can plan for it without buying it on impulse. You don't need to buy firsthand either when you could get a good deal at a thrift store, garage sale, or flea market. A seasoned minimalist adheres to their budget and is not easily lured by things that will cost more money without adding value to their lives.